What's up everybody, it's Brandon from Tattooing 101 and I got a package in the mail of something I've been wanting to review for a while now, which is the Paul Point Pen cartridges. I've seen a ton of stuff online of people using these to learn how to tattoo and to practice being able to do stempel shading, so I wanted to test them out and unboxing and going through what all you can do and what would be beneficial that you could learn on these cartridges. I'm gonna open them up and see what all comes in the box. You have some different colors to go through. You have five red, five black, five blue, and five green. I also want to know, because it's not like as long as a pen, how long these last. So that's something that I will definitely check out during this review. So the packaging is exactly like cartridges. They have an expiration date, which you're not using these on humans, so I'm really not sure why you would need to have an expiration date, but I'm sure they do the exact same process with all of their cartridges. So let's get into opening one up and seeing how they work. So to start out, we'll take the tip off the pen and let's see how it goes into a machine. It goes exactly in like a regular cartridge, locks in perfectly fine. I feel like that's one of the biggest problems with cartridges. Sometimes they'll be loose in there, but you could feel with these, it's definitely nice and tight in there. It feels really good. I like how the bottom has a little bit of a cut into it, so your finger just naturally kind of lines the bottom of it to be stable, which is awesome. I really like the way that feels. Um, this is definitely something that I feel like you could learn a lot, especially if you're getting into simple shading and trying to understand the process without kick out some fake skins or trying to learn on human skin. This is something that'll definitely help you be able to learn that's readily available that you could really use anytime. So we're gonna start out with 5.5 volts and we're gonna see if we could pull a line with this cartridge. You know, they're marketed for learning how to do stipple shading and practice using a tattoo machine, but I just wanna see if you're able to practice doing line work with these cartridges. So we're gonna start out, just pull a line like we normally would with tattooing. and you are able to pull a line. It definitely has a weird feel to it, just because when you're tattooing, you know, it has some give going into the skin. So this isn't something that you're gonna be able to, you know, practice depth control and everything, because you are going on a hard surface, being able to learn. But for holding a tattoo machine and just being able to practice doing lines, this is something that you could definitely do without kicking out fake skins or pouring ink and everything just to practice holding your machine and building up the confidence to do a line. Now, let's see how it could do with some shading. What we're gonna do is instead of going so slow, we're just gonna use the whip shading method and just be able to do some transi transitions of shading beside it. Let's go down a little bit to 4.5. Yeah, that's definitely better. When you're used to tattooing, it's definitely a weird feeling because holding a tattoo machine, you just build up the muscle memory of going the correct depth. So going on to just a hard surface like paper is definitely a different feel completely. But it's definitely fun to do. It's a uh, different feeling completely, but you could definitely get shades, different shades with it. Just don't press too hard or you're just going to completely destroy the paper. With these, so far, so good. I like them a lot. They're really fun to use. I also really like how each color is the color of the actual cartridge. So you know at all times what color you're picking up if you're wanting to change colors. Now what I want to do is go onto an actual design and shade it in with all the colors that I have. I will say that this is pretty much the exact same motion I would use with tattooing, besides obviously the depth. If you were just to lightly brush the skin like I am here with the actual tattoo machine on a live client, it would just completely fall out with healing. It's nice, the lighter you press, the smaller the circles are, so you could get some really nice small circles if you just barely touch 
the paper. I feel like if you have a machine that goes even lower than 4.5, it would be beneficial to turn it on a little bit more. I'm having to, uh, you know, work with my hand speed pretty fast in order to get these transitions. So, but the lowest the bishop goes down is to a 4.5. So if you have the ability to go down more than that with your machine, I would recommend starting there. So now the design is done. Now we can get on how I feel about these cartridges. And they were really awesome. The only downside of these cartridges is I'm sure eventually they will come out with different colors. These colors are the basic pen colors that you get in any pack. And they're really not the colors that you would use in an actual tattoo. You know, yellows would be cool. So if there was another color they would come out with, I'd definitely recommend doing a yellow because it would make, you know, doing traditional designs and stuff so much better having that yellow. Um, the black works really good. Um, I really like the way that you could get transitions with the black. The green, kind of weird color. Um, it's kind of this really bright green that I normally wouldn't really use in any tattoos that I do. The red was perfectly fine. You know, I use red a lot and that, you know, nice bright red works really well. The blue's pretty dark um, compared to, you know, like a tattoo I would do of using like a, you know, a navy or a light blue. But, you know, if they came out with different colors for these, it would be a game changer. You could do designs, use them for your portfolios to get into a tattoo shop, show that you're actually using a tattoo machine, but without doing fake skin or live clients, because obviously shops don't really like that. But just showing you have the confidence to use a tattoo machine and being able to do a design with these is awesome. I had a lot of fun doing this design and I'm sure I'll be doing more in the future. I just hope that they come out with more colors because that would be amazing. I definitely will pick them up if they do come out with more colors and be able to do a review on those as well. So are these beneficial? Absolutely. Um, it's pretty much the exact same steps you would use for tattooing. Took a little bit of getting used to when I first started out not going into the paper, you know, with depth of holding a tattoo machine and everything. But once you kind of lock in, just lightly brushing the top of it, it works perfectly. But that's one thing, if you're using this all the time to get used to tattooing, it is different, obviously. You know, the way the cartridges work are exactly the same, the way you hold your machine, the same, the pendulum motion, whip shading, all of those is exactly the same as tattooing. But with actual tattooing, you go into the skin instead of just lightly brushing up top. So. If you're practicing with these, that's one thing to keep in mind. Jumping onto fake skins, it'll be a little bit of a transition, but everything to help build up that confidence and understand how to hold your machine, these are awesome. So, true ball pen cartridges. You could pick these up for 20 bucks. Highly recommend picking up a box of them. There's fun, even if you're just messing around and doing some designs. Super cool, a little bit different, and I had a great time doing them. So as always, thank you for watching another review. And if you guys have anything out there you would like me to review, we're doing a lot of reviews upcoming in the future of some more high quality tattoo machines that a lot of people have been wanting us to check out for you guys. So if you have anything you would like us to go over, make sure you leave a comment down below. I'll check them out and pick a couple of them for upcoming videos. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a wonderful day.